Hello and welcome to another French... French off the stalls? No, fresh off the stalls. Why do I say French off the stalls, you ask? Well, that was actually quite an accidental and not at all um, a purposeful lead-in, but I just mean to see possibly with something with, with uh, a title that's completely not good for Twitter is Jacques Brel is alive and well and living in Paris. I'm surprised he didn't add on with his dog, who's very nice. I've only got 140 characters on these things sometimes, you know. But anyway, that's where I've been, um, and I can tell I'm at home again, and you can probably hear with a Jacques Brel in the background, wee wee, poo poo. Um, I wanted to do this at home because I wanted to do something uh, very, very definite and very um, purposeful before I did this video, was to kind of listen to some of Jacques Brel's stuff uh, on the train journey home. He's on Spotify, um, for several reasons which I'll get into in a moment. So first of all, what is Jacques Brel is alive and well and having shows made about him with hideously long titles? Well, it's a musical review of his career. Um, and this is kind of refreshing and kind of bold in my opinion, because what you usually get with this sort of stuff is the jukebox musical, which I'm not personally a fan of. Um, I find it's, you know, you've got this contrived narratives put around songs and it's generally not great. Apart from a few exceptions, like Mamma Mia, which was the very first jukebox musical, I think and I hope, and I hate that I second, uh, second guess myself when I say this on camera, camera, but that's not the problem. So what's happened here is that director um, Andrew Keats, who is very well known uh, on Fringe and uh, Off West End, uh, especially with Desa Rosa. Desa Rosa or Desa Rose? I can't remember. I didn't see it, which is why I'm a bit... Um, anyway, but he's been doing some great stuff recently, um, and he's a very well-established and pretty damn good director. But this is, as I said, this is a review, not a jukebox musical. And for me, I was really interested in this, because Jacques Brel is not uh, a musician that has figured uh, much, if at all, in my life, really, and he's an artist that I know very little about. So to be invited to come and review something um, that's a review... Uh, that's R-E-V-U-E, -E, uh, rather than a, a jukebox musical, was interesting because it's like, for me, I was thinking, like, how do you market this? It's certainly only going to appeal to people who know Jacques Brel's music um, because there's nothing else there to bring in people who might otherwise not know. So it was a really interesting thing for me and something I kind of embraced. Um, so first off, a bit about Jacques Brel. Um, he's a Belge, not actually technically French, but spoke a lot of French. Uh, a Belge chanson artist and a pretty damn good one um, and I certainly got that <laughs> just from uh, the evening um, so yeah so it's just a collection of several uh, performers singing his songs for about two hours so let me get to it right so I don't know it was entertaining, it was certainly an entertaining evening, uh, but I think there's some, in my tweet what I said originally was that it's an entertaining review, that's R-E-V-U again, but sometimes forgets what it's celebrating. Now I really feel that, especially when you read about Jack Roll as well, um, and his autobiography, and his sort of stance on sort of anti-war and what he did with his life, you get the sense, if you, especially if you listen to the music and the lyrics by, uh, in, in the purest form, there's a real sort of sense uh, of almost spite, disenfranchisement and certainly sarcasm throughout everything he does and I think that a lot of the time that's lost in it, um, possibly even lost in translation because of course he sang a lot in French uh, rather than English. And what I mean by that is that um, it's not lacking a je ne sais quoi, that's not what it, the show's lacking. It's lacking a nonchalance. Some of the numbers are played up for laughs or are played for too much dramatisation. Uh, you all know that Sweeney Todd is one of my favourite musicals and in one of my favourite numbers, um, A Little Priest, uh, Mrs Lovett with a pie goes to Sweeney and says like, Try the actor, it's compactor. And Sweeney retorts with, But always arrives, overdone. And that's kind of what this is here. There's some moments where it's just so over top and so dramatic uh, and you just kind of get the impression that this is not what Jacques Brel's about. Jacques's about that really sort of spiky, snide sort of, but at the same time beautiful and rousing music. Um, sometimes it works uh, for starters, let me just flick through the set list. Things like the funeral tango, um, 
It's got that real sense of, uh, uh, of sort of spiteful satire in it. And it's played up for laughs in this one. And it does kind of work. You get the feeling like this is kind of not how Jacques Brel would have performed it or had envisaged the song. But, like, it was entertaining. Other things, it's just the reinterpretation of the song just falls hideously flat. My Death was possibly, well, it was the low point of the... Okay, I'm going to have to turn him off. He's distracting me. And silence. Um, so yes, my death was, probably, was absolutely the low point of the evening. It was kind of this this song singing about uh, sort of death, and Jack Brel singing about like how he feels death is going to greet him, uh, either angel or demon. They're at my door, and it's done as an eighties rock number. I'm just gonna I'm just having going like, what, what? How does this work? How does this relate to the action material? What is going on here? And also, like, for uh, Gina Beck's got a wonderful voice. Like, she really does. It's beautiful. But she's not suited for 80s rock coming out clad in sort of black leathers and skidding across the stage. I'm just kind of, no, no, no. This is this is completely missed the mark. And this is what I mean by it sometimes forgets what it's celebrating. It's completely forgotten that Jack Brel songs. And and I get this just from not even knowing very little uh, about him. But it, there's some there's some real sort of like sort of like gritty pathos in there um and it's just not there the only times it is there and consistently there is whenever eve polly carpo if i said that right i'm sorry if i haven't but um eve um does her numbers she's the only member of the entire cast that i think gets brell and when she sings it's phenomenal the 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 anger is there the disdain is there and it really comes through in her voice and she was the one thing that was utterly spectacular the evening everything else and particularly and i hate to single people out but i think david burt was too over the top there was the songs which uh, it almost became pantomime and that's just not what the music's about um so yeah even even as uh, even Daniel Boys uh, was a bit too actory in a sort of very crude sense and a very unfair sense, I'll say, in saying that. Um, in that, and I said Gina 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 Beck, despite um, her wonderful voice, again just you know didn't quite get it, especially with that rock number. Although I will say she did redeem herself um, with the song about um, the old people, which I believe was "Song for Old Lovers." Would seem to make sense. I don't, yeah, um, so, yeah, entertaining, but misses the mark too often. Um, and again, I, I can only really think that anyone who is actually a Jacques Brel fan would actually want to go to this. Anyone who, like me who doesn't really know much about it wouldn't really see a reason to go. Like unless unless you got nothing better to do. I really hate to say it. So entertaining, completely misses the mark at some points, but is salvaged by some fantastic performances by Eve Polycarpo. So I'm going to retire for the evening. I shall write up a full written review, which will be on my blog, Grumpy Gay Critic. Critic? Yeah, Grumpy Gay Critic. This is this is too much wine in the... Um, no, it wasn't that much wine. It should have been more wine um, at the after show drinks for the press. Anyway, um, I'm going to... Uh, not have wine, have um, life-giving water, um, and get back to you my full written view for my on my blog uh, at later. So, um, yeah, enjoyable evening, but um, I just think it's. I, I I think as I said, I think it too often forgets what it's supposed to be about celebrating. Um, but otherwise, some wonderful numbers from some cast members, and I said a really bold effort to do a review rather than to resort quite lazily to uh, a jukebox musical format so anyway i'll get it all down i'll think about it a bit more and i'll probably be a bit more coherent as i usually am so otherwise i shall sign off um and uh, bonne nuit i should probably say bonne nuit um bonne nuit du monde goodbye good night the world um i only got an a at gcc french i don't know why i'm even trying this bye